And I, and the thing I'm going to continue to set on my theme is that a tree is known by his own fruit. The actual quote is up there, and up there at the top part, it says, it'll make the tree. This is Matthew 12, 33. That's the one I'm going to continue to use in the, in the, uh, on the slide. Matthew 12, 33, 33 says, it'll make the tree grow good and its fruits good. It's up there. If you, if you can see the, the reading on it, it says, either make the tree good and its fruit good or make the tree corrupt and its fruit corrupt. For a tree is known by his fruit. <laughs> That's why I'm sitting there saying, a tree is known by its fruit. We know that supremacy, whether you're black or white, or whether you have some type of particular belief system, or whether you're from a particular area, supremacy or bigotry is not compatible with the gospel. And yet people have loud bigotry, supremacy to creep into the Bible, not the Bible, into the ministry. And see, Christ is the head of the church. And unless you get approval from the church head, Christ, ministries, political parties cannot take pieces of the gospel of the doctrine of Christ and then ignore the rest of the doctrine. You know, we're talking about when we talk about abortion. You know, the truth is yes, that baby life is important. The truth is that that woman's life is important. The truth is that all lives are important. And we should be able, when we, if we want to creep into things such as abortion and say we shouldn't do it. And I agree you shouldn't do it. But if you're going to enforce it, if you're going to make somebody say it is murder to do it, then you help that person not only on the part of birthing the child. We as a nation are supposed to be able to do a policy that help raise that child in an environment that it can show the love of God. See, what I'm saying is, love the child too. Not only just in the womb, but love the child. We, as a nation, we, as a people, we, as a body of Christ, is to love that child when that child is born and have the same concern of how that child is raised in an environment that uh, nurture that child. We, we, we should be concerned about when, when people, like the, what happened in, in, in recently in the mass shooting or in Sandy Hook and all those other places, <laughs> the tragedy of someone coming in with a gun and, and killing little innocent children. See, that same thing, that baby, is in the womb that was conceived at the beginning with that mother, that that baby. That baby life matters not only in the womb, that baby life matters throughout the entire life <laughs> of a person. Meaning the life of every person is important and we should have a policy not to try to do mass incarceration, not to sit there and sit there and give everybody guns so they can kill one another. I mean, I don't have a problem with you having a gun, but the problem is that you, we don't want crazy people to have one, right? 
<laughs> we don't want people to not mature enough to understand the, 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 the impact of using that on people. We don't want we want to make sure we understand is that even as a person has a different political view, you don't go and kill them. You, you don't go and kill a judge, you don't go kill a governor, you don't you don't do that. That's not the gospel. And yet we allow it to be crept into the church, to the body, to the body of Christ. And don't forget, Christ is the head. And you know Christ didn't endorse that stuff. Come on, saints. That's why I'm sitting there with that title said white supremacy, black supremacy, uh, bigotry. That's not compatible with the gospel because the gospel is to love one another. You don't, you don't, you don't go after people and, and try to hurt people because that's not what the gospel is about. The gospel is about to love one another. He said that a new commandment, John 13, 34, a new commandment I give unto you that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. 35 said, men will know that you are my disciple for the love that you have one another. <laughs> That's why we want Peter Bay to come into the body of Christ because of the love that we have for one another. We want to talk about the fact that they say, hey, walking in the kingdom of God, in the kingdom of God, there's love. In the kingdom of God, there's grace and mercy in the kingdom of God. That's not strange. That's not sitting there to say, oh, well, well, I don't, I don't like that. It doesn't matter. What does the gospel say? People want to know. People that have been in prison, incarcerated, they want to know, well, what is, do you have for me? Do you love me? Do you want to receive me? Have you forgiven me? <laughs> Come on, say, let's, let's, let's equip ourselves to do the work of the ministry, the real work of the ministry, which is to be able to say, love one another. But you have people who walk away because they don't want to hear that. And you're surprised about it. It's like, what do you mean you don't want to hear that? What do you, what, why do you, oh, oh, well, see, see, it ain't for everybody. Oh, yes, it is. It's for whosoever. Huh? I like that, Tatry. So look, those people out there, they have left the body of Christ or the church or the ministries. Don't, 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 don't leave Christ. Don't leave the head of the church. You I gotta say you're leaving ministries that don't line up with the gospel. They're more mindful of the things of man than the things of God. I, I can relate to you for that. I can understand that. But don't leave Christ. Get that Bible in your hand for yourself. Read that Bible. And, 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 and pray for understanding of that Bible. You know, I got the one that says, I keep up there all the time, is Nehemiah 8.8. 8. <laughs> it says, so they read in the book, in the law of God, distinctly, and gave the sense and caused them to understand the reading, the meaning of the gospel. In this case, it was the Old Testament. That was an Old Testament. In the Old Testament, we're talking about the fact that, yeah, we got laws and all other stuff, but you know, the real, part, real issue is this. There's a reconnection that God is trying with the covenant. With the Old Covenant was a reconnection with God. The new, the new covenant, the New Testament, is that God used, sent his only begotten son for us to be connected back to God. And then he wants to put the laws in our hearts and the laws, the two great commandments, is to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind, all thy strength. And then the second one is to love thy neighbor as thyself. That, that, that's what the two great commandments was under the old law. And then Christ said, I give you a new commandment. Love one another. 
See, because when you love somebody, you're not going to kick them out of the house, <laughs> out of the ministry. And some people sit there and say, well, well that, you know, the, there's a doc, there's a bit of pattern set to kick somebody out. And now they, they use that pattern. That's, <laughs> now people run with it, right? He was, he was talking about the person who was sitting there uh, sleeping with his father's wife. And, and 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 they they say you got to go, son. You come back when you're ready to line up with the gospel, with the word. But we go now. We we'll take it in. There. Oh well, you don't line up with my doctrine. You you don't you you don't do it my way. Opposed to Christ. Opposed to grace and mercy. Opposed to give one another. I, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna tell you something. Hey, <laughs> I never stop preaching the gospel the word of god and the, and and the, what the real message is about that love that grace that mercy i used to have a friend that said, said sin has nothing to do with you in christ because christ have redeemed us from the curse of the law christ's blood wash away our sin and then you find out some people say well that, that's not good enough well you know what is good enough for Christ. That's why people listen. Those who listen, listen. You have the go. You are coming to the right place when you come to Christ, not to ministry, unless the ministry lines up with the doctrine of Christ. You need to understand. God died sent his son for you and for me. You know, it's about him. It's not about ministries. It's not about people. It's about him. The people are the most be serving some Christ to preach the gospel. You preach the gospel for what? He said the, the harvest is plentiful, but the labors are few. So he wants us to go and preach the gospel, just like he did. And he put up and tolerate all the people that act like a fool. Even the disciples were acting odd and out of, out of order. But he, he still continued to work with them, educated them, teaching them. That's a, so so why, why, why? That's the real gospel. It, it talks about really trying to get us to work together, to grow. And even they, I mean, read it for yourself. How he tried to show, the, the, the educate them to be disciples, disciplined ones. And yet we know they were not all disciplined. We saw Peter, he sat there, and I don't know what the Hebrew name is for, but we saw that <clears throat> he denied Christ after being with him, walking with him for three years. He repented. And you know what? Christ let him come back. When uh, in the modern day churches and ministries, that you oh, you you got to go. You ain't coming back. I don't want you to come back. I I ain't gonna sit, I don't want you to sit there and come back and, and say you go, you you uh you squared away and you repent. I don't want to forgive you. That's the, that's the, that's the uh, people that, that call themselves Christians, but the tree is known by its fruit because a believer is supposed to love one another. Amen. Supposed to love one another. Now that's that's why he, he tell us to to listen to him. Listen to him. That's all he's asking us to do is to listen to him. You know, that's why he said they let the Holy Spirit be the teacher, you know, of, of uh, what, what we're about. I'm trying to put this uh, thing up here at the same time. The, the, uh, it's, it's, it's the Holy Spirit, you know, the Bible, so what does the scripture say about he that's led by the Spirit of God, by the children of God, not, not political parties, uh, not, not, not ministries. You, you're not led by a ministry. You're led by the Holy Spirit. And that's so I want you to know. Don't, if you get hung up on people, if you left the gospel, you left 
uh, the church because of people, you, you're not called to, to follow them anyway. You, you're not called to follow them. You, 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 you're called to, to obey the truth, the doctrine of Christ. You know what I mean? That, that's, that's, what, that's who you're called to do and, 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 and follow Christ. You know, John 14, 6 said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. You know, Christ has said he is. Okay. The, so so when we when people don't follow Christ, don't follow them. When ministries don't follow Christ, don't follow the ministry, follow Christ. This is what I'm saying. When people judge and condemn people, don't follow them, follow Christ. How to follow Christ. If you don't want to submit to the Holy Spirit, read the Bible for itself. <laughs> and you'll see the difference. When I talk about this, I go back to the, uh, the slide. And I put it down here. And, and I just want to, there's so many areas to cover, so I just want to cover this for today. It says, uh, make sure we get this down straight. It says, black or white supremacy nor bigotry are compatible with the gospel. A tree is known by its fruit. You need to know that. A tree is known by its fruit. So if you got a tree that want to go kill people, hate people, not forgive people, divinity, or demonize people, then you probably need to sit there and say, uh, that tree is not compatible with the gospel. And so so I want to put down like for subject right here, look at this. Uh, about people sitting there and this is this is this is a firm understanding of why it's so important not to get hung up on the uh, people trying to justify themselves and then try to justify you. I want to pray to you for you to know that uh you don't you don't that's when you need to know when people are face off track is when they sit there and try to get you to follow uh them and be judgmental toward people. Look at this. This is a, this is the thing about the Pharisee and the tax collector. <laughs> Those who've been in the body of Christ know this story. But a lot of people I know, you know, well, some people have not read the Bible. So I'm just saying this. Well, here in this type, this forum, we do get to read the Bible. And that's what's more important than anything else. And look at this. It says, the Pharisee and the tax collector. And he spake this parable unto certain who trusted in themselves. <laughs> and we know that's, that's what we see. When some people come into the body of Christ, they trust in themselves. They, <laughs> they feel like they got it going on. So they trust in themselves. And, and then they can judge people because they trust in their ability. They trust in their, their uh, conforming to the doctrines of their ministry. Not the doctrine of Christ, but you'll see what I'm talking about. And he spake this, verse 9, 8, Luke 18, verse 9, he spake this parable to certain which trust in themselves that they were righteous. Look at that. That listen, the modern day vernacular. They trusted themselves that they were righteous. And therefore now they can condemn people and run people away because they trusted themselves that they were righteous. And despise others. And that's what we hear, right? That's what you see when you talk about people looking at the gospel. They, there's people in the ministries that despise people. You got people that despise people because of the color of the skin. You got people that despise people because of their political party. You got people that despise people because of different platforms or different positions they take. Despise. They trust in themselves that they're righteous, and yet they will despise somebody that they deem is not suitable. And the thing about it is, is two people who trust in themselves. That's what we really run into. You got people in this, this church and people in that church, people in this political party, people in that political party, <laughs> people that are white, people are black. You got, you got, they, they, they despise one another 
for the differences they can come up with and the trust in their own righteousness that they got their righteousness squared away. <laughs> oh man, it, the, the Bible, the, 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 the New Testament is so clear of how we should teach. For people trust in their righteousness that they can despise somebody else. That's what I'm saying there is that bigotry and uh, supremacy of, of one another that means you despise you, if you if you're supposed to be superior you're supposed to be an example of what just good behavior right behavior not bad behavior but the point is this fact is that people trust in they, that they were righteous and despise others and that's the first time you're off base when you despise somebody else and regardless of the reason well they they I despise a person that believe in abortion. I despise a person that don't believe in abortion. You know, you don't supposed to despise anybody. You're supposed to love people regardless. Oh, well, that means you tell me, tell me it's okay, but they're doing no. I'm not telling you. I'm just telling you, you're supposed to love. You don't supposed to despise anybody. You don't supposed to trust in your own righteousness that you got it squared away, that you despise somebody else. You don't supposed to do that. You don't get to the point where you despise. Look at what the person said. Two men went into the temple to pray. The one a Pharisee and the other a publican. Sometimes you said that thing, oh, they say Republican. <laughs> no, they say publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself. God, I thank thee that I'm not as other men are extortioners, unjust, adulterers, <laughs> or even as this publican. He, he, he said, I'm going to demonize all these people. Then he's going to tell you about the works that he do. And that's one of the things that we got to watch out for people when they trust in all righteousness. Then they start giving their works. I fast, this verse 12, I, fa I fast twice in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. So this guy said, I got it going on. My righteousness is squared away based on my works, not based on my heart. And the publican standing afar off would not lift so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smoke upon his breast saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Verse 14 says, I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone that exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbles himself shall be exalted. Huh? <laughs> oh, man. I like that. Look at this. The, 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 the part of what he said is, this man came to God and said, be merciful to me, a sinner. See, all those of you who have left the church, who have left the gospel because of people who are judgmental, because people who sit there and, and, and try to put you down. I'm telling you, man, <laughs> I'm telling you, God is merciful, not people, unless they submit to God, submit to Christ, submit to the Holy Spirit. These people are not merciful. These people will put you out because you have a different political position. <laughs> they demonize you because you don't line up with their doctrine. No, they're gonna say, no, you ain't line up with the Bible. No, 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 no. Because the Bible says that we are, he's merciful. Huh? He's, he's given us grace. Huh? All lives matter with the gospel. Huh? Therefore, we gotta consider the, every, the whole package. The gospel gives us liberty. We gotta consider what the gospel does. 
not people, not ministry, not political party. Huh? That's what people have been running away from the church because you tried to impose legalism instead of understanding that God loves, He's merciful. And you pray, you, you know, if you don't, you, you can't force people to go back to the law. You can't, and you definitely don't despise people. You don't justify yourself. Christ justifies you. And if you let Christ justify you, then you'll see a difference in what God has in store for you. People have left the house, people have left ministry gave up and don't believe in God because of people. Opposing fact is that God is God all by himself. And therefore, don't 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 run away. <laughs> don't run away from God. Please don't run away from God. You, you can leave churches, you leave ministries, but don't leave the head of the church. <laughs> That's Christ Jesus. And when you, if you recognize that, then you understand that all these other things you see, just remember this. And anybody getting anything out of this is this. A tree is known by his fruit. A ministry is known by his fruit. And therefore, you can sit there and hold back and say, oh, man, I'm, I'm going to go by. I'm going go by Christ. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to go by uh, <laughs> what I see from the history of the church or from a person who sit there and look at it sucking up on a lemon. You, you don't need to worry about those people. You know, you don't see somebody say, well, I don't see how you can be a Christian if you don't do this way. You don't think this way. I don't know how you can be a Christian. Well, you know what? The gospel says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shall be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made of salvation. It's not for you. The tree is known by its fruit, meaning are you carnal minded or spiritually minded? Sometimes the disciples were carnally minded. Well, Christ was spiritually minded. But Christ didn't <laughs> run them away, judge them, and kick them out because they were cardinally minded. But that's what we do. We get to the cardinal mind. We, do, we teach how to despise somebody, opposed to understanding that God is a merciful God. Let's go back to this real quick. Make sure we didn't, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't miss something. Let's go back up here. Just get it. Let's get it squared away here. And he spake this parable unto certain which trusted themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up to the temple to pray. And I said, don't despise one another. The one a Pharisee and the other publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself. God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. I fast twice in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. And see, you bring this modern day black here, uh, for, for, so you, I, I, I'm part of this political party instead of that political party. I'm, I'm 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 black, or I'm I'm white, or I'm I'm Jew, or I'm Hebrew, or I'm, I'm you know what I mean? I, I'm a I'm a Methodist, I'm a, a Baptist, you know. I'm I'm a church in Christ. I'm a church of God in Christ. Uh, no 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 no. I'm I'm a Episcopalian. Uh, no no no. I'm I'm, I'm a, you know what I mean? We, we, we despise people and put people and judge people and kick people out and tell them that God don't love them because of how we think. Our own righteousness. Trusting in our own righteousness to give us license to go and do something to other people, to despise other people. That's not the doctrine. 
that's not the that's not the gospel. You know what I mean? Look at this. And the public of standing far off would not lift so much as his eyes unto heaven. Now his his people, all of you that should be able to identify with him. Most of you don't want to identify with the public. I mean, with the Pharisee. Most of you should identify with the publican. I ain't talking about Republican. I'm talking about the publican. I'm talking about the person who said, I am a sinner. Uh, 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 I'm sinful. I have a sinful name. Look at the public say, if the public is standing far off, would not lift so much as his eyes into heaven, but smoke his breath, saying, God be merciful to me, a sinner. That person recognized that I got some shortfall, and I'm coming to God for mercy and grace that Christ brought to us. <laughs> Verse 14 said, I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone that exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humbles himself shall be exalted. Saints, come on. You know, since I'm doing this uh, live, what I'm going to do is, because it, 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 it does break. And I, I, instead of me going keep straight, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna I'm gonna stop here for live session, and then I'm gonna bring it back up, just so that I want people to be able to listen to the message, and 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 not be have to go one or two hours, well, go over hours of, of listening. I, I, so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop at this point right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, I'll bring it right back up for the live session. But I want to give I want to give a break in between because I, I would like to digest what we're saying. Amen. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come off of this and I'm going to uh, stop going live for for a minute and then I come back live again. Amen. All right. Bless you. And listen, don't trust in your righteousness. Trust in Christ. Trust in your Savior. Don't, don't, don't leave Christ because of people. Don't leave people. And, 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 and follow them. I say love people, but follow Christ. And if they follow Christ, you can follow them, but always remember you really never following people. <laughs> you're not really following ministry. You're following lights. Yeah. I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> All right, let's we'll stop going live at this point. Amen. God bless you. Love you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.